I live in Bristol. I'm currently working in an office and um, I've been an anime fan for absolutely years. I think the first anime I watched was when I was 12 and um, I've been cosplaying now for about a year. I'm Laura. I'm Jake. And um, we're both the cosplayers. I'm an art student at Bournemouth. And I work for a business, uh, building solutions company in Bristol. Um, I'm Rachel, I'm 26, I'm from Norfolk. I've been cosplaying since October 2005 and it's taken over my life pretty much. <laughs> As a recovery coordinator, I do breakdown recovery for vehicle, pretty much cover most of Norfolk's and half of Suffolk's roads. I'm Tim, um, I'm a university student, I study digital arts and I'm a cosplayer. I'm Joseph Grant, I've been interning with Manga Entertainment. If you've gone to any conventions over the last year, you'll have seen me in some outfit or other. My name's Aaron, um, I'm from a town called Lowestoft on the East Coast. Um, I work for a company called Burn and Matthews as quality controller. It entails a lot of uh, walking around the factory, making sure that everyone's doing what they should do and no one's cutting corners. And I also like anime and manga and I'm into arts and I also like football and I like tennis as well. Um, go down the gym a lot. Um, I also do yoga, that's quite surprising. Um, my name is Christine, I'm 18 and I've been into cosplay for almost a year. Um, the first time I cosplayed was at the London October Expo 2006, I think. Um, and it was a really good experience, so I just wanted to do it again. And I've met a lot of friends from cosplay, including the friends that I'm with now. I like to play games like Final Fantasy, but I also like playing other games like Grand Theft Auto and FIFA. So I'm kind of really all over the shop and the whole video game thing. So I like running into a lot of things. <laughs> I've been into anime ever since I was about five. Um, I've been cosplaying for about six years and this is probably my favourite cosplay. I work with the MOD, we sort of finance new technologies. Well, obviously I like cosplaying, a big anime fan. Got into it because I love making stuff like this, giant props. Pretty cool. <laughs> uh, I'm 18, I work for a company, and then go home and make this sort of stuff. <laughs> Not much to say really. My name's Mark. Um, a student at West, uh, a student at uh, Stafford University. Um, I'm doing a film technology course. Um, and I want to be a visual artist when I finish uni. Well, my name's Joe, and I'm 23 years old. I work as a diagnostic radiographer at the Royal Free Hospital. Anything in the hospital that involves X-rays, CT, MRI, ultrasound, nuclear medicine, and even cardiac work, um, we'll be helping out with the imaging there, or we'll be doing the imaging ourselves. Um, and that also includes for theatres when patients have operations done. Anime lets you do absolutely anything. If you want to blow up a building in a movie, you're either talking about serious amounts of CGI. You can do anything you want in anime, so there's no limits on the imagination of the scriptwriter. You can tell any story, you can have any action going on. It's just absolute freedom. The stories are a lot deeper and a lot more meaningful and there are a lot of things in it that you don't usually get in a lot of um, the kind of cartoons you find on Cartoon Network. I love some of the storylines. A lot of them tend to be very controversial and you can do so much more than you can in a film. Say for example Samurai 7, you could have spaceships and samurai all in one film. Anime, oh I just love, it's just it's just so cool and zany at the same time. It's they go to places where regular cartoons really can't go. It's just great for people that have like vivid imaginations because you can totally just imagine yourself as the character because you can identify yourself within that character. Because whereas with a film, the person's got lots of character to them and you can't really compare yourself whereas with a character that you, it's very bland but in a good way so you can just sort of imagine you're that character and it's obviously easy to dress up as one as well you think oh I can do that. <laughs> Anime is in its way it's a escapism so to speak you can sort of watch any any anime and each of them are different so you could have fantasy like Bleach and you can have reality or romantic stories like Caracano or um, 
<laughs> yeah, that's about it. You can just sort of escape from reality, so to speak. Favourite anime? At the moment, I really love Bleach. It's probably one of the most interesting animes that's going out weekly. Probably one of my favourites is Excel Saga. It's absolutely mad. It's... it just... there's colours everywhere. It's loud. It's... It doesn't make a lot of sense to begin with, and it's one of those you sit there thinking, yeah, I've got to watch more to understand it. I like uh, Bleach, Naruto, Wolf's Rain. Bleach is definitely one of my favourite animes. I watch that every week, religiously. Ghost in the Shell, Aquarian Age, uh, Maya Humi, I can't remember how to pronounce that one. My favourite anime, oh, probably Mushishi. Um, Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei uh, and Holic Tsubasa, some things like that. Like Pokemon, Digimon, and Biederman, and Shaman King, and oh, there's too many, I can't think of <laughs> Well, I love Chobits, obviously. Um, I also love Death Note. Um, I love Papa Tan, Peter Ten, um, Shuffle. <laughs> um, <laughs> I love, I like Trigun, um, Razaphon. <laughs> um, I also like Studio Ghibli as well. I love all those films. <laughs> um, today I'm cosplaying as Kurosaki Ichigo from Bleach. This is Ixion from Final Fantasy X which is, um, it's my own design of it because it's actually a horse that I'm cosplaying as. So I had to create kind of the design myself and interpret it. But the general majority, whenever I try and explain cosplay to anyone else, they just don't quite understand. I think it's something, I think when even I started doing it, I didn't quite understand it myself. It's something that once you start getting into it yourself and doing it and you go to a con and you get the feel for it and what other people do, then you start to understand what it's sort of all about really. I mean, at a convention you definitely wouldn't feel strange because everybody cosplays there anyway and everyone's an anime fan and they all appreciate the costumes. All of my friends which know that I cosplay are, are actual cosplayers themselves, so nobody really finds it strange. To be honest, I think it's nice to be quirky, a bit different. Mm, something else, so yeah, yeah, I think it's nice. It's quite an interesting conversation starter. <laughs> Just usually leave it out, things like job interviews and stuff. <laughs> we cosplay mostly for photo shoots, private photo shoots that we just take amongst ourselves. And we have fun, it's a lot of fun, it's like a day out to sort of go to a park or, an, or a scenic location or, or a house that we find pretty and take photos. I have come, as I think is fairly the greatest anime character ever made, Edward Elric of the two Elric brothers, the old one, of course the main character from Fully Metal Alchemist, the full Metal Alchemist himself. Making the costume yourself. I find is like better rather than buying it off eBay or something and just giving the character your own edge really. But you do get the odd person where we're like walking for a tube and they'll be like, ah, oh, Naruto, oh, Naruto, and you're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's so. kind of in the field of cosplay, you're going to have to expect it being like dressed up as rude as you can. Yeah, because it's not this thing you sort of see every day because it's like it's a big thing in America and Japan, but in the UK it's not seen as much so. People are like a bit shocked when they see us walking around. <laughs> well, cosplay is like short for costume play and it sort of originated in Japan and then moved to America and then sort of like come to England after that and like all, all the other countries but Japan is where it mainly started as like small conventions and it got much bigger. Um, costume obviously and play, you, you tend to develop a role, you, you become like a film, you could do a film character, a games character, an anime character. Heck, you can even make up your own character. A lot of people develop their own animes and dress as their own characters. You can either go and buy the costume or you can get a costume commissioned or you can even make your own costumes and basically you make the costume to look exactly like the character. Making the costume yourself, I find, is like better rather than buying it off eBay or something and just giving the character your own edge, really. It's not just about sort of dressing up as a character, it's about sort of making them ap like appear in real life, you know. Uh, a lot of the time it involves going on stage, doing a few poses, and it just goes from there. Some people do um, sort of skits or performances or reenactments and things like that. Other people just like to make the costumes um, be really cheesy, smile, do the, 
the signature poses, have lots of photos taken, and just meet people generally. It's a great social network because the majority of cosplayers, I don't think I've ever met anyone who's not, but all the cosplayers are really, really friendly. You can approach them and just say, oh, hi, I love your costume, it's brilliant. And, you know, it's, it's a great way to meet people and I really do enjoy it. For me, it'll be walking around going, Russell, Russell, Russell. And for someone else, it'll be walking around swinging a big sword. For other people, it'll be dancing. They get, it's getting into the role and becoming that character for just a brief moment. Um, I'm dressed up as Ritsuka from Loveless by Yen Koga, which is um, a fairly niche anime that hasn't been licensed in the UK, though it has been licensed and released in the US. I got scrolls, which carry Kankura's puppets in. Um, bottom one comes out. Um, pretty much the only Kankura with an opening scroll, which I have got signatures of most cosplayers on it, just to personalise it a bit more. Um, I'm dressed up as a character called Ichigo from Bleach. Um, this is one of his sort of final ultimate forms so far. Um, faces a lot of bad guys. Um, that's about it, sorry. <laughs> um, Rookie from Bleach. This costume is Roy Mustang from Full Metal Alchemist. I've worked on this costume for about 40 hours. Um, I have the official pocket watch, the official patches. Uh, this was actually something I'd picked up at a second hand store and then just tore apart and put back together again. So, uh, Sorry? Do you think people think you're strange? Oh yes, they do. Um, <laughs> but it's better to be unique than, you know, just be boring and normal. I'd rather dress up as a Yoshi at the weekend than sit on my bum watching television. Unless it's cause anime. <laughs> um, probably going to get shot for saying this, but my best friend Richie thought I was really strange when he first found out I did cosplaying, but he's gotten into anime now. Well, I think he has. and. He started watching the anime channel, as I found out the other day, and he's become more accepting about it now. When I'm walking through London, mostly with my friends, not on a convention day, when we just decided to meet up total random in our costumes, yes, I do think there's a possibility that people think I am weird. Um, I've got a few looks in the past, um, some fairly bad comments from people passing. Do you think people think you're strange? I know my parents do. <laughs> um, it can get quite embarrassing walking down the road with blue hair sometimes, but if, if you just sort of take it in your stride, it's not a big deal. Yeah, I suppose I'm a little bit strange. <laughs>